An F-22 Raptor belonging to Edwards Air Force Base's 411th Test and Evaluation Squadron has been seen flying equipped with what appears to be stealthy enclosures attached to its underwing hardpoints. The images of the Raptor in question, serial number 06-0132, were shot by aviation photographer James Reeder, who goes by at B.O. Reader on Instagram at the U.S. Air Force's Plant 42 facility in Palmdale, California. Viewers may note that Plant 42 is also home to Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Advanced Projects Division, which originally developed the Raptor. This is the first time ever that the Raptor has been seen flying with such a unique attachment. It's likely that the attachment is an IRST or infrared search and track pod. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how IRST pod could provide the F-22 Raptor with a crucial combat edge. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather, stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force by defense major Lockheed Martin. It was developed as part of the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program intended to counter the latest Soviet threats from the 1990s and beyond. While the Raptor entered service in 2005, it's still considered the best and is well ahead of the Russian Su-57 and Chinese J-20 in overall capabilities. Even today, it can't be exported under American federal law to protect its stealth technology and other high-tech features, clearly indicating that it has many closely guarded secrets. But obviously, rivals of the U.S. have made significant progress to close the gap in certain aspects. As evident, the U.S. Air Force is not sitting idle and the F-22 will be upgraded with new capabilities. IRST system is a method for detecting and tracking objects which give off infrared radiation, such as jet aircraft and helicopters. An IRST system may also have a regular magnified optical sight slaved to it to help the IRST-equipped aircraft identify the target at long range. As opposed to an ordinary, forward-looking infrared system, an IRST system will actually scan the space around the aircraft, similar to the way in which mechanically or even electronically steered radars work. The exception to the scanning technique is the F-35s distributed aperture system, which stares in all directions simultaneously and automatically detects and identifies aircraft and missiles in all directions, without a limit to the number of targets simultaneously tracked. In certain scenarios, especially against stealthy aircraft, IRST may outperform the main radar. The F-22 Raptor has no IRST sensor. Su-57 houses an IRST sensor at the base of its windscreen, providing it with another option with which to detect enemy aircraft apart from the radar system. 
The Su-57 is speculated to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft and track over 10 targets simultaneously using its IRST sensor. Chengdu J-20 system has 360-degree IRST coverage. Ken Merchant, who was then Lockheed's vice president for the F-22 program, told Air Force magazine in 2017 that we really don't have the real estate to fit an internal IRST in the jet, at least in an installation comparable to the electro-optical targeting system EOTS, in the F-35. Merchant said at the time, we are looking at other options. Well, even a stealthy external pod would increase the RCS of the F-22, it will still be the lowest observable fighter in the world. Lockheed Martin and the U.S. Air Force would surely have considered this compromise. F-22 has an RCS, or radar cross-section, of only 0.0001 square meter. Well, F-35 Lightning II has an RCS of 0.005 square meters. As per some analysis, Su-57 has an RCS of 0.05 square meters, which makes it around 500 times larger on the radar when compared to F-22 and at least 10 times larger when compared to F-35. Aviation photographer Santos Caceres had earlier caught another interesting-looking U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor in his camera as it flew out of Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada on the morning of November 19, 2021. The aircraft was covered in a tile-like reflective metallic coating that's unlike anything we've seen on a Raptor before. Importantly, it didn't look like it was for temporary use. The coating seems to have been carefully installed to not obstruct the Raptor's many key access points, like sensors and antennas. Some reports indicate that the covering is of a special material that's capable of masking the aircraft's infrared signature to enemy eyes. The system could avoid detection by allowing the aircraft to mimic the temperature of their surroundings to suit varying scenarios. All in all, it can be stated that the Raptor is being upgraded to make it less detectable by IR signature while adding the capability of using the same tech to detect enemy aircraft. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.